All right, it's the Pick 7 Financial Fix. We're talking about your money and actually keeping it in your wallet and in your bank account because there are people out there, I should say banks out there, trying to just take whatever, just siphon a little nickel here, a little dime there, just siphon every little bit out of there. So we're going to try and help you with know all the fees to look out for and help you work around them. So this morning, we have an expert with us. We have Ash Exantis, the financial empowerment coach at Bank Mobile, to kind of help us kind of get around all these fees. Good morning to you. Good morning. Thank you for having me. Appreciate and, it. And some people might think, look, fees are a part of banking. I'm going to have to end up paying this and that. But the reality is you can actually avoid them. Absolutely. 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 When you, when you think about the $34 billion dollars that are charged in overdraft fees and people are being charged for their own money it's ridiculous so you have to find ways to avoid those fees yeah you should, you should not have to pay for your money so the first fee you saw up there balance transfer fees I know those are with credit cards right so what's the fee how do we avoid it absolutely so a lot of times people get these offers in the mail that say zero percent balance transfer but don't realize there's a fee attached to it so it's really about checking the fine print making sure that if there is a, a zero percent balance transfer that they're not charging you for it because it seems like a, a good deal I've got interest over here I, I got a debt over here I want to put it over here you can show me two percent two three percent sometimes in those fees yeah, absolutely. Okay, avoid that. Overdraft swap fees. Right. So or with, sweep fees. Sweep. Overdraft. I don't even know what this is. Right. Overdraft. What are they sweeping? And, and, and Why he, are they charging exactly. me? Exactly. Tell me and about he, this. And here's the funny thing. Uh, overdraft sweep is if you have a money in your savings account and you don't want to get charged the real. $34 overdraft fee, yeah. they allow you to sweep money from your savings account to the checking account to cover those fees. But there's actually a charge for it. So you're being charged <laughs> to sweep your own money into the checking what? account to avoid the oh, $34 man. overdraft that's, fee. That's dirty. That's <laughs> dirty because they tell you that you're good and then you then you earn money. That's, that's not right. Cash advances. So cash advances, same thing, right? So when you do a cash advance, your normal credit card rate is probably a lower rate. Uh -huh. When you do a cash advance, they tack on a higher percentage on that cash advance and that's how they charge you a fee for that. And you're talking what, 10% more no, than that? Yeah, I'm talking sometimes double what your regular interest rate wow. is. Wow, all right, so cash, avoid ca cash, cash advances. Absolutely. Avoid, avoid, avoid. All right, foreign transaction fees. And see, foreign transaction fees, a lot of times people are ordering online and think that they're safe, but if you order online and you're ordering from a place that's out of the country, banks or some banks are actually tackling on Tra foreign transaction fees to, to your account. You think you're not traveling. Why are they charging me? But that's why. There you go. Watch where you buy from online. Um, minimum ba balance requirements. Right. So minimum minimum balance requirements. Uh, some banks still have minimum uh, balance requirements and they charge you if you're not maintaining that balance. It may be free for a, a period of time, uh -huh. but eventually they start charging you those fees. And that's even with direct deposit, because I, I know sometimes the banks will say if you have a direct deposit, you won't get these fees. Right, and, and that's the next fee, right? So the right. next fee uh, is activity. So sometimes they'll say if you are doing five transactions or if you have di direct deposits, you won't get charged these fees, but let's say a month you forget or you're not as active on your account as you should be, then they tackle on that, that fee. Okay. Redeeming rewards points man. fee. Now, now come now, hold man, up. Man. Now, now, hold, hold up. You, you got to stop this, right? Okay, yeah. Because we get these reward points, and all of our cards, whatnot. They promise us. They say, look, you're going to get a point for this, point for that, da da da. And then you tell me that they're charging a fee when we redeem the points that they let us get and they promised absolutely, us? Absolutely, absolutely, absolutely. It's a dirty game. <laughs> so, you, so you have to just be, be careful when, when, you're, when you're redeeming those points. Just take a look and make sure that there aren't any additional fees. Yeah. All right, and of course, the classic, we all know about the ATM yes. fee. And I feel like it's always, you know, you need that money right now. You look around, your bank's not around. Mm -hmm. That's a battle. Yeah, I think the good thing now is that when you think about um, banks that, that, are, that are out there, like Bank Mobile, that don't charge any fees whatsoever, mm -hmm. make sure that you find those banks that are giving you back an incentive, not, a lot, not charging you those fees to make sure that you're not paying for your own money. Why should you pay for your own money? Exactly. All right, man. You, you have educated me, and I'm sure a lot of folks out there, all these fees. I had overdraft sweep fee, I never heard that in my life. Right. And you people sweeping our money away. Thank you so much for coming in. We I want to thank you. Ash Exantis from Bank Mobile for joining us. Uh, tune in tomorrow, same time, same place, same channel. You know the deal. We're going to tell you which colleges will help to get you the best bang for your buck.